Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chairperson. I'm Yuto Otsuki, uh, a researcher at well. Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, a researcher at uh, NTT Secure Platform Laboratories, Laboratories in Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about uh, building stack traces from uh, memory dump of Windows X64. Now, as you know, malware is widely used uh, for various uh, cyber attacks. To fight against such attacks, uh, forensic analysis is a conventional ap approach, uh, and stack traces uh, play an important role in memory forensics as well as uh, program debugging. Uh, stack traces become a clue uh, to uncover what malware has actually done on the host. However, unfortunately, uh, traditional techniques uh, don't work for uh, a mem uh, memory dump of Windows X64 uh, environment. Uh, now then, we propose a new method for building stack, uh, building stack traces from such memory dump. I'll start talking from uh, background. Uh, traditionally, uh, functions uh, use a frame pointer to access uh, their local variables and uh, argument, uh, augmented uh, stored in the stack. Uh, function firstly push the current value of the uh, frame pointer, uh, frame pointer register to the stack, uh, just like uh, push EBP uh, instruction. And then uh, the functions uh, update it uh, with the current value of the stack pointer, uh, just like uh, move e EBP to uh, ESP. Uh, as a result, a, a chain of frame pointers in, uh, uh, is constructed uh, is, uh, stuck, uh, in the stack. So we can retrieve uh, return addresses by working on the uh, chains. However, in fact, uh, frame pointer is not dispensable for uh, executing a function. Uh, for some reasons, a compiler uh, generates functions without using a frame pointer. Uh, for example, there, there are some optimization techniques uh, such as uh, frame pointer omission, FPO uh, option. And some uh, calling conventions uh, regulate uh, functions uh, shouldn't use a frame pointer. Uh, X64 software conventions for Windows X64 is one example of this. Uh, in such case, uh, chain of frame pointer is never constructed. In, the, in a stack for such function. Uh, some conventional te techniques retrieve return addresses by scanning by the stack area. Uh, they can build stack traces without using a frame pointer uh, chaining. Uh, they assume that return addresses uh, satisfy the following con uh, conditions. Uh, return addresses the address should point to uh, executable memory area, and the pointed address is right after a call instruction. Actually, in uh, memory forensics for Windows X64, uh, we actually have no choice but to uh, use uh, scan-based techniques to build stack traces. Because in uh, Windows X64 environment, uh, functions generally uh, don't use uh, uh, don't use frame pointers, uh, so we can, cannot use the traditional technique. And uh, Maria and release applications uh, generally don't have a symbol. Uh, that's why uh, we cannot use the uh, 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 Windows uh, Microsoft official uh, debugger. Uh, however, the scan-based technique uh, potentially inaccurate as far as I, uh, we uh, experimented. Uh, they uh, may dis misdetect uh, some other uh, pointers as uh, return addresses, uh, such as just uh, function pointers in the stack and uh, in inactive uh, return addresses, uh, which means uh, already returned uh, return addresses. 
Additionally, uh, there are uh, some other issues for pra practical use uh, for uh, win uh, Windows X64 environment. Uh, one of them, uh, where is the uh, actual top of the threat stack? Uh, OS is allocated a space as a stack for a thread, uh, but for, for the thread, uh, there is no need to uh, use it as a stack. The thread can allocate another, uh, another space uh, on its own and, and then use it as uh, its stack. Uh, and the other is, how should we recognize the uh, execution context of 32-bit applications on the Windows X64 environment? Uh, Windows X64 uh, environment ha has an ex uh, emulation layer uh, called uh, WoW64 uh, to execute 32-bit applications. We cannot retrieve the, uh, the execution context of such application directly from the kernel data. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, so uh, this, uh, this picture shows uh, uh, con uh, con construct, uh, 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 the uh, structure of uh, WoW uh, 64 process. Uh, they have a uh, uh, WoW uh, 64 layer and 32-bit uh, application uh, itself. Uh, the 32-bit uh, application is uh, the real target for us uh, investigators. But we uh, have to uh, uh, have to uh, analyze uh, the layer uh, which manages the execution context of the 32-bit uh, applications. So I introduce new method which uh, builds stack trace from a memory dump of the uh, Windows uh, X64 environment. There are two uh, main approaches uh, for solving the problem. Emulating stack unwinding and flow-based verifications. And for practical use, our method also includes other functionalities. One of them is uh, to retrieve the last execution context of each thread from the memory dump. And the other is to recognize the context of uh, a 32 bit application. Uh, this is uh, the, the execution flow of my proposal. In the pre uh, preparation phase, our method uh, do uh, something like this uh, reconstructing uh, virtual memory spaces, uh, emulating processes, and uh, threads, and so on. And then our method checks whether the target process is x64 process or not. In the main phase, our method obtains the user context of the target thread. And then starts building stack traces. First, I'll introduce the detail of the of our method for X64 process. In main phase one, uh, our method uh, gets the user context uh, of the target thread. Operating system generally uh, stores a thread context into memory when an event occurs. Uh, uh, for example, uh, context switches, and system call invocations, and interrupt, and so on. They are even, even triggered uh, uh, user context as uh, saved to save in, as, uh, user context uh, is saved to saved into uh, memory. Windows also saves all registers to each thread object when user to kernel mode uh, transition occurs. So then we can obtain a user context from this trap frame uh, structure. Okay. <laughs> uh, next, uh, our method checks whether the metadata for exception handling for the current RIP are available or not. And then it activates proper one from these uh, 
uh, some method. Uh, uh, my, my, our method has two sub methods uh, for uh, emulating stack unwinding and for uh, uh, flow based verifications. Uh, both of uh, them locate the previous return address in the stack and then update the RIP and RSP values. Uh, method repeats uh, executing uh, this uh, until uh, uh, RSP reach the bottom of the uh, stack or RIP uh, points to outside the uh, executable region. Now then, I introduce about <laughs> The detail of this part, uh, this uh, sub method A to, uh, A to X uh, emulates uh, stack unwinding in, uh, in the exceptional handling mechanism. Uh, P executable files for Windows X64 ha have metadata for exceptional exception handling. The metadata includes information for stack unwinding also. Uh, two, uh, we can use them for memory forensics to uh, build the stack traces. So uh, first, uh, our sub method uh, obtains a base address of the uh, region pointed to uh, by I RIP and uh, checks the uh, P headers. Uh, then, uh, sub method obtains uh, Runtime function structure whose range uh, contains RIP from exception, exception directory uh, as known as uh, .pdata section. Um, uh, our sub method uh, unwinds RSP and other registers uh, based on these uh, unwind calls. Uh, we, uh, this uh, this uh, white code indicate uh, an operation in the function's prologue. Uh, and sometimes uh, this unwind information, uh, just like uh, a runtime function and the uh, info and unwind calls, uh, refers another one. Uh, if so, uh, our method repeats from uh, uh, if it's from step four until uh, arriving at the last one. Uh, lastly, our method updates uh, the current R RIP after com uh, com uh, completing all unwinding operations. Uh, RSP points uh, here, uh, RSP dash, and then uh, the uh, uh, sub method uh, pops. Uh, the previous return addresses, uh, uh, just like uh, let other uh, from the stack. Uh, so by, uh, by this method, uh, we can get a return address uh, if the metadata is available. But in some case, metadata is not available. Uh, in that case, our method activates another sub-method. Uh, this sub-method is uh, the extended version of the uh, conventional scan-based technique. After scanning, the sub-method analyzes control flow to verify uh, the reachability between the detected uh, return addresses. Uh, uh, firstly, the sub-method uh, uh, scans uh, return address a candidate from the uh, current RSP, uh, just like conventional techniques. And then uh, our sub method uh, to uh, find uh, ex execution path to reach the current uh, RIP uh, from uh, the detected uh, return address. Uh, it uh, it analyzes uh, control flow inside the uh, function uh, targeted by each the co uh, call instruction uh, uh, pointed by uh, uh, return candidate. In this case, uh, pointer two is the, the actual uh, return addresses uh, because the current uh, IP pointed uh, inside this function. 
lastly, our method updates RIP and RSP like this. Uh, now then, we can uh, build stack traces regardless if metadata is available or not. Uh, next, I'll introduce our method for uh, uh, 64 process. Uh, similar to our method A, uh, method B firstly get the uh, user context of a 32 bit application. When a 32 bit application invokes a system call, uh, the uh, uh, emission layer uh, emulates the uh, system calls. Uh, this emulation is very similar uh, to OS's system call handling. Uh, so the layer saves uh, all register to, into memory uh, like this. So we can uh, retrieve the context of the uh, 32-bit application from uh, uh, WoW64 uh, context structure. And to build stack traces, we can uh, basically use the traditional technique, uh, technique working uh, EBP chaining uh, because 32-bit applications uh, conform to the traditional conventions. Uh, but uh, custom uh, tailored uh, feature is required for a uh, system call stuff on, on the uh, WAV64 layer. Uh, uh, this is uh, a stack when a 32-bit application invokes a system call. The stack uh, for the two retarders on its top. The uh, first one uh, points to the stub itself and it will be skip, skipped. And second one uh, points to the uh, core of the stub. Uh, this is actually needed uh, for us. Our, our method gets get it simply. So far, I've uh, explained uh, the detail of our method. Next, I will explain about uh, evaluations and experiments for our method. We evaluated that uh, our method accuracy. We implemented uh, our methods as a plugin for the uh, recall for memory analysis framework and compared it with uh, WinDBZ. Uh, and we focused on Windows official executable files. Uh, because if symbol support is available, uh, WinDBZ can get the correct uh, stack address, uh, stack traces of such uh, processes. And we used a memory dump uh, obtained from uh, this uh, environment, Windows uh, 7 x64, x64, xp1, and uh, memory size is uh, 8 gigabyte. Uh, first, uh, we try to obtain uh, stack traces from the user space of uh, X, uh, X64 a process named Notepad. Uh, this is uh, the result from WinDBZ and our program. Uh, uh, this result shows all let others and child SP is in the uh, result from uh, WinDBZ and our program. Uh, are uh, equivalent, which means that, uh, that uh, our method uh, could uh, correctly obtain the stack trace of uh, the uh, X64 process. Uh, similarly, we also uh, try to obtain stack traces uh, from a uh, uh, 64 uh, process uh, named Calc, and we could get the correct result also. In another experiment, we tried, to, uh, tried again for Notepad. In this time, to imitate a uh, situation of uh, obtaining a stack traces uh, from uh, code regions without metadata, a plugin uh, forcibly activate uh, some method A to, uh, A to Y. Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, executes uh, flow-based verification our plugin obtains a correct uh, result just like the, uh, uh, with metadata case, uh, I, as uh, I mentioned uh, before. 
uh, which means our method can obtain the uh, correct result uh, even without unwind information. By the way, uh, after loading symbols in the uh, user space uh, to imitate such situation, WinDBG obtained only the uh, first two entries like this. Uh, this result shows uh, WinDBG strongly depends on uh, symbol, uh, so then uh, it is uh, difficult to use, uh, use for uh, malware and release applications uh, to build stack traces. Uh, lastly, I introduce about comparison with uh, conventional stack uh, scan-based technique. We just use a, a conventional technique to explore, and we found 10 false positives in the result uh, like this. Uh, Red entry is uh, false uh, positives. On the other hand, our uh, plugin obtained the same result as one of uh, symbol, uh, symbol supported in DBZ. So our method can uh, more precisely identify, uh, can I, uh, uh, identify return addresses uh, than conventional uh, stack based uh, scan based techniques. And we also conducted real malware experiment. And uh, we confirmed our method was basically effective. However, we found more complicated and difficult cases. Uh, for example, uh, corrupted unwind information uh, and uh, invalid P headers. Uh, malware are uh, used. And, uh, and another case, uh, uh, they use uh, another uh, mechanism for managing user context in user land, uh, such as uh, UMS. And uh, malware uh, sometimes uh, waits for some events without holding threats, uh, such as uh, to, uh, they try to uh, uh, hook APIs and uh, and then activate uh, their code. Uh, in, for, uh, uh, for, uh, to solve the, this uh, ca case, uh, we need to, uh, some improvement of, of my, uh, our method, and another uh, research uh, is uh, required. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I talk about uh, how about limitation of uh, my, our method. Our sub method A to Y can, uh, cannot na narrow uh, the uh, candidate to only one uh, in some case, uh, such as uh, there is, uh, uh, there is uh, uh, indirect calls uh, uh, via a register. We should consider a deeper analysis for a stack and code. And, uh, in this presentation, I introduce our method specialized to Windows. Uh, but I believe the basic conce uh, concept of our method can be apply, apply, applied to uh, another, uh, other uh, platforms. Uh, basically, a user uh, context management and exception handling mechanisms are common in other platforms. Okay, I, today I, I introduced the uh, uh, method of emulating stack unwinding to build a stack trace of each thread of, uh, from only memory dump of Windows X64 environment. And we also uh, pr uh, proposed our flow-based verification method, uh, which can uh, more precisely identify uh, return addresses than uh, using only uh, conventional scan-based techniques. And, uh, and our experimental results shows uh, the accuracy and practicability of our method. Okay, uh, that's all. Uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you very much for kind attention. Thank you. Thank you, Yuto.